we are back here again with Leviathan Rage, Pokemon Fire, walk through part 10. Right now we're going up towards Mount Moon, as you can see I'm going pretty fast with the running shoes. Before I get into this first battle though, I've decided to do the, the Super Skarm way. Super Skarmory is just double speed all battles once it gets into it, so it'll reduce time on the video. So as you can see, the video is moving pretty fast right now, just because I didn't really feel... I felt it was taking up too much time doing the battles really slow. Now that it's doing really fast, I can put more into more, put more into one video instead of just having lit, having just really slow battles and taking away some pretty much needed time. That train, that last Janice, she only has two Pokemon, two Pidgeys, pretty easy to take out. Boat level nine shouldn't really cause too much trouble. And here we have Trainer Colton, which basically just bug catcher. He is, well, no, basically he is a bug catcher. With only bug type Pokemon, Caterpie, Weedle, and Kakuna, I think. It's pretty simple. Just use I just use Elegance just to take him out with like Gust every every Pokemon he used. I'm not sure if it Oh no. He used Weedle, Caterpie, and Caterpie. So basically just basic stuff. Took him out with took each of them out with one gust. Pretty stuff. Pretty easy stuff. This next trainer is a youngster. He likes shorts. Not really much I can say of that. Youngster Ben with a Rattata level 11 and an Ekans level 11. Um, the Rattata, uh, um, it was pretty easy. Two quick attacks, didn't take too much. Ekans, now I was surprised with, even though it had Intimidate, I was luckily able to get a critical hit and take it out with one quick attack, just thus re reducing the time battle, time in the battle. Moving onwards yet again, we have another bug catcher. He's a tra he challenges you to a battle like all trainers will do. Bucketcher Greg with a we with a Weedle, Kakuna, Caterpie, and Metapod. This is a very good battle for training. Uh, I wouldn't recommend skipping it because it is worth the experiments. The experience, not experiments. The experience. You get pretty decent. You get get pretty decent EXP from Kakuna's 136. I mean the Caterpie and Weedle. Just if you have a flying type like I have Elegance, or if you have a Spiro. You can just take it out with one flying attack, or even if you have Charmeleon like I do, and you don't, and you've already, and you don't want to raise up. A, if Charmeleon's only guy you have super effective against bug types, then you're in for a good ride. So coming down here, see this? There's loads of these little patches throughout Kanto, and they all on in them there are berries. And unlike Cohen, you do not have trees, so we find more berries along the way. And here we fight book at I mean youngster Calvin with one Spiro level 14 it wasn't too much difficulty yet again two quick attacks from elegance youngster Calvin 224 pokey that's a it's a decent amount of money I suppose to get from a youngster so now we have to go around again after battling Calvin and here we have alas with a Rattata and a a Nidoran girl, Nidoran female, whatever you want to call her. Um, there you see again two quick attacks. Not hard at all. 121 experience for beating a Rattata, which is good. I would sent out eruption against the Nidoran because, well, as you can see, Elegance was low on HP and it's going to evolve anyway, so it doesn't need more experience. I shouldn't have used Scratch. Watch out for Nidorans. Their ability is Poison Point, which can poison you with any physical attack done so I should have really used Ember twice. As you can see now Pidgeotto Pidgey's evolving into Pidgeotto which is excellent. Well he needed for the second gym badge even though I slept to go through Mount Moon. I really like Pidgeotto's I was real I was really happy that in both my fire and leaf wing walkthrough that I was able to get him evolved before I even entered Mount Moon. It's very helpful, very strong Pokemon for this start for this part of the game. And really it will do very well for me going through Mount Moon as it, w it has a sufficient amount of HP that will keep it alive. Its attack power is pretty strong and it's a pretty good and it's a pretty good Pokemon all, all around. So here we have Bugcatcher James with a Caterpie and a Metapod. Pretty easy battle yet again I used Eruption just so he could catch up to Elegance's level. Elegance as you saw grew three levels in that through that part of the game through that part through that part of the route excellently which I was very happy with yet again. James, no problem, just two embers, taking out two Pokemon. Now this last, she's a bit of a, she could be a bit of difficulty. She has a Jigglypuff that knows 
which is very hard to take out when it knows Zing. Although it didn't get to use it against me, and I pretty much dominated it with an ember, two embers, and a scratch attack. Robin, 224 Poké Dollars again. So coming up again this way, we are heading up towards Mount Moon to the Pokémon Center first. There's no more trains along this way. There's only Patch of Grass that has Nidoran Boy, Nidoran, Nidoran Girl will mostly appear if you have Leaf Green, Nidoran Boy will appear mostly if you have Fire Red. And Spearows, Pidgeys, Rattatas, and Mankeys. It's pretty good. Um, I checked these rocks over here because I was pretty sure that there was going to be there's going to be f an item or something laying around. But unfortunately there wasn't. Not until I got up where the Pokemon Center where I found yet another berry. These these guys don't say much. This guy says how cool Brock is. Which is good from the fame checker that you get later on from Gary. It's pretty it's really good to get the stuff. Really good to get the things that you need. Well you don't really need to complete the fame checker, it's just good to say that to your friends or anybody that you actually talked to everybody and they completed your fame checker. I've never actually completed it before, so this will be my first time actually completing it. I'll be happy if I do it. Here I found a prison berry. Prison berry, sorry. Pretty good berry. And coming over yet again, there is no item in the rock. Coming inside the Pokemon Center, we are going to get the pre evolved form of my favorite po one of my favorite Pokemons, Magikarp. That's right, we're going to get Magikarp for $500, train up in the Gyarados, and then we will have an absolute beast in our team. In Well, in my team, not our team. I really like Gyarados. I find it's a very good Pokemon. Good, good attack, great brute strength, good HP all around. And it does cause difficulty when it learns final level. When it learns final level 20, you can take out the Legend of Oz. When it takes out, it can take out Misty's Staryu and Starmie with a few bite attacks, which is good. I'm just gonna. <laughs> he talks to this guy. He just tells you that you can only have six Pokemon in your team. I'm really bad at crashing into stuff. I'm really sorry about that. So now I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon, which I recommend you do before you go into t into Mount Moon. Sorry, there a bit of gas. And um, this guy just tells you about Team Rocket. And you can store. He tells you you can store Pokemon in the PC, which I've already done. And as you can see, half my poke, uh, half my party is completed, which is very, which I found very good at this point. And stay tuned because next time we'll be traveling to Mount Moon and getting all the way to Cerulean City.